Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Saturday, December 5th, 2015, around 5.07 in the morning in Berwick, Massachusetts. It's going to be a nice and sunny day out, highs in the 50s. Some news to report. Calgary Flames beat the Boston Bruins in overtime by the score of 5-4. to four. Bruins get a point, though, but it's better to win. And the Arizona Diamondbacks have signed pitcher Zach Granke to a six-year contract worth $206 million. And that's about it on the news. My first video subject of the day is a continuation of the top ten list of everything and anything. I've now reached the top 10 sports stars ever to wear the number 29. Some great stars in, of all of sports have worn the number 29 over the years. Some big names have been left off this list. Because this is the best of the best of the best. And here they are. Number 10 on this list of the greatest sports stars ever to wear the number 29. We, closer Dan Quisenberry, who mainly pitched for the Royals in the 1980s. He was a great closer. He led the American League in saves several years in a row. He, you know, he should have been considered for a Hall of Fame, but he had a short career, and he passed away very young of a brain tumor in 1998. Number nine on this list of the greatest sports stars ever to win at number 29, Tim Wallace. Who, who, who was a third baseman mainly for the Montreal Expos, a great, great player and stuff. He had over 200 home runs in a Expos uniform. Number eight on this list of the greatest sports stars ever to wear the number 29, Vince Coleman, who was an outfielder who played for the St. Louis Cardinals primarily, also played for the Mets and several other teams. He stole a lot of bases, over 700 in his career. Number seven on this list of the greatest sports stars ever to wear the number 29, Carl Kasayuko, who, who was a um, guard for the Minnesota Vikings for 10 seasons. He made a pro bowl. He played in a couple of Super Bowls. He comes in at number seven. Number six on this list of the greatest sports stars ever to wear the number 29. Outfielder Joe Carter, who played for the Indians, the Cubs, the Padres, the uh, Blue Jays, uh, Orioles, and the Giants. He's known for hitting the home run in Game 6 of the 1993 World Series to, to, to end the World Series. It was back-to-back -back World Championships for the Toronto Blue Jays. And he's part of their level of excellence. Number 5 on this list of the greatest sports stars ever to win. And number 29, pitcher Catfish Hunter, who pitched for the A's and the Yankees. He pitched the perfect game in 1968. He won the 1974 Cy Young Award for the, for the um, A's. He's a baseball Hall of Famer. He passed away in 1999 due to Lou Gehrig's disease. Number four on this list of greatest sports stars ever to win at number 29, pitcher John Smoltz, who played, who pitched for the Braves and ended his career with the Red Sox and the Cardinals. He struck off out over 3,000 um, batters. He won over 200 games, also saved 150 games. He was part of that rotation with Maddox and Glavin. He won the 1996 Cy Young Award for the National League, and he's he was a first ballot Hall of Famer. Number three on this list of the greatest sports stars ever to win at number 29. Rod Carew, who played for the Twins and the uh, Angels over 3,000 hits. He won many American League batting titles. He was a second baseman and a first baseman. One year he hit 388 in 1977. Threatened to hit 400. And he won the 1977 Most Valuable Player for the American League. Number 29 retired by the, the, the Twins and the Angels. Number two on this list of the greatest sports stars ever to win at number 29. Ken Dryden, who was a goaltender for the Montreal Canadiens. He was a dominant 
the goaltender. He won many Vesna trophies and many Stanley Cups. And he retired young and he was a Hockey Hall of Famer. His number 29 hanging from the rafters from the Bell Center. And number one on this list of great sports as ever to win at number 29. Running back Eric Dickerson, who who was one of the greatest running backs of all time, playing for the Rams and uh, Colts and the Raiders. And a, a first ballot pro football Hall of Famer. Well, that's about it on this video blog. Be back later on with more. But it's about the history of the AWA Championship. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Butter Guy, Molly Rosenblatt of WCCO um, TV4 in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hart is so, so stunning, and she has nice legs as well. And Barbara Gibbs of ABC11 in Raleigh, North Carolina, has a great southern accent, and she has nice legs as well. And in the words of Sean Lucia, get out! Bye now. See you later.